Since the dawn of time, at the very start of the world, it's been clear that anime has produced some of the greatest and coolest characters to grace our screens. Like we've got Naruto, Ichigo, Luffy, the nigga nobody ain't beating Goku, and the honored one Satoru Gojo. These characters are the creme de la creme, the secret formula, and if you would, the top of the pedestal and the peak of the anime world as a whole. They inspire us to reach out to new heights, draw out our potential, and plus give us dope cosplays, but today this video ain't going to be about them. Today I'm going to be talking about the bottom of the barrel smells like wide open ass trash characters that just have you Side note, the characters selected for this video are picked based on my own personal bias. So please don't be upset if you see a character you like, it just means you got trash taste. Okay, let's get to it. Yu Yu Hakusho has and will always have a special place in my heart. It was one of my first anime experiences alongside Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z. And recently I decided to go back and watch it again. And when I got to the Dark Tournament arc, I met one of the sorriest, worthless, downright pieces of shit. And that's saying something because this whole tournament was filled with demons and evil spirits. I'm talking about this bastard backing from Team Masho Sugai. After Kurama endures the fight for his life and wins, Bros passes out while still standing in the middle of the ring. What do you think this grade A loser does when he realizes this? He squares up and I kid you not starts boxing with this man Kurama's half dead unconscious body. Like bruh, where's the shame? The thing that makes this even worse was that he was black. Bringing shame to the culture, can't even run a fair 1v1, what a disappointment. Bros built like Bobby Lashley and The Rock but it's just a pussy under all that muscle. Shake my f***ing head. So anyway, after his shameless display, Yusuke says fuck it and threatens to blast him with a spirit gun. Got dude pressed so he tosses Kurama out the ring. Now it's Yusuke's turn and Bro is on bumper about to send this boy to the shadow realm. And just when I thought Bro couldn't get any worse, he goes and proves me wrong. So the match starts off. Backin and Yusuke are facing each other and Backin starts flexing and sweating like crazy. I for real thought bro was about to take a shit, but nah, it's to achieve his power, which just like him, is lame as hell. Bro did all that flexing just to cover the stadium in mist. The lent niggas will go to avoid a fair fight. Anyways, Backin starts attacking Yusuke using the mist to hide himself. After every attack like the pussy he is, but Yusuke a real one. Cause every time Backin landed a hit, he just laughs that shit off. So Backin's like, what's so funny? Then Yusuke replies, oh nothing, eating your punches made me realize I was worried for nothing, this shit soft as hell. So Backin pissed off trying his best to look tough, comes in to attack Yusuke but he fires a spirit gun at the wall, causing an explosion that clears all the mist and then Yusuke comes from behind and lands a punch on Backin, breaking his ribs. Now Backin's on the ground in pain, begging Yusuke not to beat his ass, but Yusuke's not going for it. So he bows his head and just starts fake crying. Oh my god, this man has no dignity. So Yusuke goes to stop him and he picks up a fucking rock and hits Yusuke on the head with it. Oh nah, this nigga sorry, ban him from the cookout. I refuse this man being associated with the culture. Anyways, the rock just crumbles to pieces and Yusuke's pissed off. Back in seeing this starts trying to run away but Yusuke grabs him by the belt tosses him into the sky and starts breaking his bones in his body finally punching his sorry ass out of the ring. Man, where do I even start with this one? Like I never liked Frost, no, even before it was revealed that he was an evil son of a bitch and it's not even that he is a Freezer counterpart, I just never liked him and I love Freezer, but I don't know, something about the guy just didn't sit right with me from the get go and then later revealing the snake this man was just added to further my dislike of this guy. First of all, this guy lacks half the power, charm and charisma of Frieza. Where Frieza stood as the cold, confident and sadistic emperor of the universe, Frost is just a criminal hiding his evil deeds behind a fake heroic persona. I mean, Bron is just lame as hell and that just gets reaffirmed in the Universe 6 vs Universe 7 tournament. So first up, Frost fights against Goku, and that goes about as well as you think. Bro got molly walked, but he wins the match cause he was cheated. Next up, he goes up against the green messiah himself, Piccolo. And I don't care what anyone else says, Piccolo put in work. So the fight starts and immediately Piccolo starts charging up the special beam cannon. Frost starts shooting up death beams, missing them all, then counters Piccolo blast with his own, 
the fight a two finger barrage of death beneath hitting Piccolo in the leg, bringing him to the floor where he proceeds to make clones of himself. Frost then proceeds to shoot at them, finally destroying them all with an energy wave that, that starts throwing hands at Piccolo, who blocks all of it with one hand. Frost then kicks him on his injured leg, then follows with a gut punch into a flying kick to the chest. Then Piccolo wraps his arm around him and proceeds to continue charging the special beam cannon. Frost being the bitch he is, cheats again and lays out Piccolo. Now it's time for him to go up against the Prince of All Saints Vegeta. Then Jacko gets up and basically lets everyone know that Frost has been cheating this whole time. This loser brought in a weapon that stuns his opponents. Bro gets disqualified and Piccolo wins but Vegeta is like nah, don't disqualify him. And Piccolo, tag out, it's my time so Vegeta gets in the ring about to put this man to sleep. Frost even goes so far as to get them to allow the use of poisons and even kill him. But alas, it was all in vain. So the fight starts and Frost starts running towards Vegeta, yammering his nonsense before he could even get the chance. Vegeta rushes in and sends him flying with an uppercut. And that was the end of this story, loser. I just hate this man, bruh. Overlord is probably my number one Isekai anime, followed by Tanya the Evil. Oh, hell no! And in the world of Overlord, where monsters roam the lands and adventurers brave the frontiers, in a kingdom where power is split between the royal family and the nobles lives a boy who serves under the princess clad in white armor and the courage to face an army. It's none other than this sorry ass loser Climb. Oh my god, where do I even start with this guy? Like, the other two I started with have some value. But me it's small, but this absolute trash, like come on. Even the strongest guy in your kingdom, Gazeph, was killed in an instant. You couldn't even tell what happened, but for some reason, you thought you had a chance. Like, there's a crush dressing elf worried about how to effectively kill and destroy everyone without allowing anybody to escape. You're only alive because of the princess. And speaking of the princess, she has been plotting the literal downfall of the kingdom and murdering the royal family and manipulating this goofy goober into staying by her side no matter what. This man was just born to fail. Even at the ending, when Ice decides to fight him, playing along to the schemes of the princess, mind you, that goes about as well as Meat Mill beating the allegations. Hell, Ice even took time out of whooping his ass to let him know that this ain't a fantasy, you ain't the main character, and you are about to die. Ice picks up and tosses him Gazer's sword, telling him to pick it up. Then whips out his own sword so they clash and he parries all of Klein's attacks. Then Klein comes from about screaming his lungs out, entering a flashback thinking he's Naruto. But Ice just grabs the sword and lets him know once again. He ate the main character and cuts him in the shoulder. He's like, alright, time to end this and literally crashes his heart with magic. Like bruh, if that ain't just the weakest shit, to make matters even worse, he's brought back to life just to find out that the princess is now a demon working for Ice and she convinces him to join her in seven eyes. Like bruh, of all the losers, he takes the trophy for the biggest loser. Anyway, that's been the video. Please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more content. Bye!